Hi, this is Helen with Things With Eyes and I would like to tell you today a little bit about our animal erasers. So we got lots of different animal erasers in, as you can see here. And here are some of our animal erasers lined up together. I'm going to show you now some individual ones. Okay. Let's start here with our hamster eraser, a very popular one. This one is the fuchsia coloured one and we also have, as you can see here, a whole range of colours. The blue one here, yellow, purple and so on. And this is how they come packaged in their own little individual packages. With some of them are in Japanese and some of them are in English, like here for hamster. But here it says Nihonze, made in Japan. And it's Iwako who makes these ones. We have animal erasers both from Iwako and from Dream Erasers, Yume no Shoji Erasers. Okay. If I go back to the hamster, you can see that these are what they call puzzle erasers, which means you can take them apart and put them back together. It's not very fair on the poor hamster, but here we go. Ripping the bottom of his head off. Okay, you can see the white part comes apart from the pink part there. And on some of them, the eyes, the other coloured parts, come apart too. Okay. The hamster here, we just have the two pieces. Can put the poor thing back together again. Let him wander off to the side. Okay. One of my favourites is the pig erasers. We have them in pink, of course, a bunch of other colours, but I like this purple one, lavender coloured one, very much. You can pull the pig's snout off there and then take his head off as well and there we are one body one snout of head put back together stick his put his nose the wrong way around there put the nose back together again there we are one pig they look a bit like marzipan pigs And here is the koala. Again, I chose a slightly strange colour for this one. It looks more like leaf colour than normal koala colour. Koala's kind of cute. He's got this little flat nose here and his white belly. In this case, we can take his head off again. And also, we can take that white part off. And the head. It's particularly strange in this case. So when you take him apart, you find this odd inside head stuck inside there. You can take that out too. So there you are, you have an empty koala head. Give him his nose and eyes back again. Put the back of his head back on and reattach him to his body. Okay, so, so far, koala, pig, and hamster. These ones all came from Iwako, which is a Japanese company, very famous for its range of erasers. I'll show you one of the ones from Yume no Shoji, uh, Dream, Erasure, Dream Erasers, Yume no Aru Erasers. Um, this one is a puffer fish or blowfish. This one has a place where you can attach a lanyard if you want to use it attached to your cell phone or something. And you can have with the Iwako erasers take off his little snout. It's got a smiley face on it. You can make him just a little bit less happy too if you want to. A strange sideways smile. And as with the others, he comes apart depending on where his colour changes are. With puffer fish you can also take the whole of his eyes out in one go. Put that back together again. Put his body back on. And finally, he's missing his little happy smile snout. Okay. Also from the dream erasers, we have these squid erasers that come in a pack of two together. 
These ones don't come apart, even though they have different colour dyes. They're just single erases. So if you're looking for something just to erase with, these ones might be a good idea. Here's the one we started with. This is my favourite Iwako eraser. Probably everyone's seen these ones before. The penguin erasers. Very small and very detailed. There. Little yellow feet at the bottom there and their beaks. In this case, if I can get this, yes, you can unmask this penguin. Again, it doesn't seem terribly fair. But there you are. Pull them apart that way, and his beak comes out, as you can see. This one might be the most complicated in the animal erasers. His feet also come off here. If we put him back together, we can attach his feet first. Stick the front. Oh, I left his beak off. Poor penguin. Okay, I will put his beak on there and remask him, reattach him. Briefly, some of the others. Panda's very popular. Everybody likes these black and white ones also take his head off. He's also got one of those strange inner head things going on there. And with his body too. You can take the white parts and the black parts off. You can hear in the background my cat wants to be part of this too. But we'll leave them out of it for the moment. Here's the cow. Cows come in a whole range of colours. Again, I've chosen a slightly strange one, the pink cow. Cows can rotate their heads right round. You can certainly stand there with a little quizzical look. can pull their heads off. Take their coloured parts off the body. Take their snouts off as well. Oops, can't get him back together. Here we are. We can go off and join the rest. We have elephant. This one I chose in normal elephant grey with a trunk that you can place at different angles. Okay. Pull its head off and its trunk in this case. And finally, the frog eraser. Again, you can pull him apart there, take his eyes out the back, and you can take his white front off too. Getting his eyes back together there, and putting the back of his head back on. Okay, so we had the frog, the elephant, cow, fish, panda, the pig, koala, the hamster, the penguin, Oops, sorry panda, and the squid. There we are. It's quite a range of animals.